U.S. President prepares Americans for long borderless Middle East battle. U.N. peacekeepers held by Al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria reportedly released. Former violinist with tremor regains ability to play while undergoing surgery. And Israel releases video urging students to make Aliyah. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Today's Thursday, September 11th, and here are your top stories. On the anniversary of 9-11, U.S. President Barack Obama announced his intention to strike the Islamic State wherever they are in a historic address to the American people on Wednesday night. We continue to face a terrorist threat. We can't erase every trace of evil from the world, and small groups of killers have the capacity to do great harm. That was the case before 9-11, and that remains true today. ISIL is a terrorist organization, pure and simple, and it has no vision other than the slaughter of all who stand in its way. In a 15-minute address, the president said the U.S. would fight the group which has conquered territories in eastern Syria and northern Iraq and has threatened the United States relentlessly. White House officials say the president will now consider all territories in which the organization operates fair game for the U.S. military, including Syria and the entirety of Iraq. Al Jazeera Television said on Thursday that Al-Qaeda-backed Nusra Front group released U.N. peacekeepers it seized two weeks ago on the Golan Heights. The group on Wednesday posted a video on its Twitter and YouTube accounts in which the hostages from the South Pacific nation of Fiji said they expected to be freed soon. The head of Fiji's army said on Wednesday the Islamist militant group had dropped all of its demands to free the 45 hostages, but at least slightly backpedaled later in the day as the situation appeared to deteriorate. Naomi Elishuv, a former violinist at Lithuania's National Philharmonic Orchestra, had to give up her beloved instrument 20 years ago when she was diagnosed in Tel Aviv's Sarovsky Medical Center with essential tremor. After the symptoms began, she learned that there was no medical intervention then that could have reversed it. But on Wednesday, she returned to violin playing while being awake during brain surgery that treated her shaking. A video on YouTube shows the musician playing Mozart as behind a plastic curtain. Sarovsky's surgeons are painlessly fiddling with her brain to locate the spot that needed to be repaired with deep brain stimulation. The Israeli government has launched a new ad campaign urging Jewish college-age youth from North America to make Aliyah. Here can still be somewhere else. A place where the script is still unwritten. A land of milk and honey. This place exists, and if you persist, you'll find your inner sabra. So come say what's on your mind. To me, the personally! Be a part of something bigger. The comical campaign, which was put together by the government's official advertising arm, appeals to young students, promising a, quote, free degree on Uncle Shmuel's tab. And that's all for today. Don't forget to go to jpost.com and check out our Facebook page for more on these developing stories. Until next week, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studio.